In this chapter, we're going to walk through the process of installing Dundas Dashboard. Note that you will need the following system requirements. Dundas Dashboard is a client-server application, so installing and configuring the application should be tasked to IT staff. Let's go ahead and launch the installer. First, the installer will check to see if you have all of the prerequisites required. Missing prerequisites can be then be installed on the fly, as long as you are connected to the internet. A screen similar to this will appear, listing all the software needed. Assuming that your machine is now ready to go, this screen will appear. Click Next to continue. Now you'll see our license agreement. Read through it, accept the terms, and then click on Next. Now you'll be asked to enter your email address and a product key. If you forgot to copy it earlier, you can also click on the Visit the Client Zone button to retrieve it again. The next screen will allow you to choose the Express or Advanced installation. The Express setup will use common default configurations and is recommended for those evaluating Dundas Dashboard on their local machine. We're going to choose Advanced Install as it is important to show all the configuration settings for the application. Now, if you want, you can change the destination folder. It's recommended that you install it on the same drive where Windows and SQL Server reside. We'll stick with the default destination folder for this example. The next screen lets you choose between creating a new application database or to use an existing one. This tutorial will go on the assumption that this is a completely new install. Next, select a database server. Dynas Dashboard can use MS SQL 2005, 2008, or Express. Use either Windows Authentication or enter your MS SQL login ID and password. A prompt will now appear to confirm the creation of the application databases. Click Yes to continue. The Dashboard Scheduler service lets Dundas Dashboard prepare data based on a schedule you create. The identity controls what permissions the application itself will have while it is running. Network service is the default and is usually what you want if Dundas Dashboard and your settings database are running on the same machine. Next, we're going to create an admin account. Enter the email address of the admin and assign this account a password. These are the credentials that you will use to log into Dundas Dashboard for the first time. Next, you will have the option to install our Synatica sample project. This project will give you some insight on what can be done with Dundas Dashboard. In addition, we use the Synatica 2010 database for our tutorials. However, for production purposes, you should check this off, which we will do. You are now ready to begin the installation. The installation process usually takes a few minutes. Once it is finished, click on Finish. The release notes contain helpful information and links that will direct you to our support site and contact information should you wish to reach our sales, support, or consulting departments. This concludes our tutorial on how to install Dundas Dashboard.